What do you seek here? Why couldn't I speak to you? And what is that dog doing? Why? Give me no. I know you have Triss. Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh uh. Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Okay. Get One the false commander. move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Ep Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you Marigold. Then he'll die. No. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Shit. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of Nilfgaard, and uh, yeah, Emperor of Emir, Emir, bleh, can't fucking read those words. Private and confidential, Imperial Majesty, after the visiting fall test, may you rest in peace. As planned, I am now requesting Hendel to stand and present your Imperial Majesty of the Community Council Nation, Reliable King, and Wild Nobility. These private princes in shift time and again. Manipulating them takes no real skill. I know that they aren't there. They fucking know guardian names. Bloody piss. Also take on the station of the Brothers North. I will take this occasion to express my doubt in sending him what necessary. An Imperial Majesty knows I'm not trusted and suspect that he's hiding something from me. An Imperial High Majesty ever faithful servants.
Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! For new God! The Imperial Army's ranks are endless! For new God! Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. Where's Triss Marigold? Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? There are things you and your kind will never comprehend. And what are those? Friendship. Tell me. Is the friendship of traitors and conspirators worth it? What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Yeah. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! Long live the Emperor! Bearers, forward! Taste our steel! Emperor, die, die Northling! Almost the entire new guardian camp. See me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. 
but they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the Lodge for help? How do you know of the Lodge? I just do. Listen, Triss, to come here for you, I had to split up with Vernon. Tamaria is in danger of disintegrating. Are you sorry you chose to come here? No, I'm not. But freeing you from Shillard's grasp was not my only reason for coming here. I need you to explain your role in this mess. And to explain why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. <laughs> I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. <laughs> the actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. Never the kings do not mages. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Strange choice. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselder Radovid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious, but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. What didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but we never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers at the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirn. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed, 
It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. That's a lot of info. What is Sheila actually doing in Flotsam? Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvit? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Who ordered Foltes killed? Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demaven's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltes, and Sheila was working with Letho. Saskia knew of the Lodge plans. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. That'll have to do for now. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. So much politicking. Fuck me. Wow. The plot thickens. It's basically a congealed slab of rocks. Yeah, congealed slab of rocks. Yes, thank you. Words coming out. Right. Those Nilf guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all? They didn't slaughter themselves. Right. You're a really fun one, girls. Really good with an AD. Well, considering by your actions and which one you are fucking good with an AD. Come on, cursor. He did a funny. Fucking reporting my own shit. 
Delete post and block member. Keep posting your fucking group. Don't you fucking tell me what to do. It's my stream. <laughs> Cut. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Level up. Ooh. Level 31. Fuck me. Almost maxed, which is weird. Oh, we got. Just a few more levels on your own and you'll be fucking amazing. <clears throat> At your service. Oh, it's a lovely day today. Welcome. Nothing special. Whew. Okay, fine. I was starting to actually get somewhere. Renounce magic, I tell you! Shatter your towers and... It's a brazen attack. King oh. Radovid will learn and of this. burn your hats! Sent them, you Turn away the, the audacity! Pull Water. yourself together! What, what? 48 to 55. You've got it, Harvey. Whatever, right, right. I think we're just finding some new swords. Thank you. Inventory. Remember that? Like five minutes into the stream, I said at some point it's gonna crash, and it did. Because no matter what, CD Projekt Red games crash like fucking shit. Good thing I saved. Good thing I'm pretty good on saving. As of recent. Probably go for another half an hour and then just fuck off. Easy computers be. Oh, new swords, new swords, new swords. Oh, 
Renounce magic, I tell you! Shatter your cannon! Too bad you're always saying. Piss where it is. I like how it has the, uh, the string here. So, even the Nilfgaardians have graced us with their presence. Your Excellency knows where. We're about to witness a great event. Do you think about uh, slyly wiping the blood off your forehead or something? Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the barony's current borders. This cannot be, John Natalis. Temeria stands between Nilfgaard and the north. It must be a strong and united realm. I too would wish it so, Your Majesty. But when Foltest was cut down by an assassin, the country's very heart burst. I have learned that Anais Lavalette is currently in the hands of the sorcerer Deathmold. Clearly you have yet to learn of the slaughter that occurred today in the Kedweni camp, King Radovid. Yet there is hope if the child lives. I hasten to remind you that Vernon Roach, his capture is also your responsibility. He is suspected of murdering King Henselt soon after the monarch's triumph in Vergen. As a Temerian soldier, Roach remains under your jurisdiction, Natalis. Vernon Roach disappeared with his unit a few days after the successful siege of Lavalette Castle. Should he reappear in Temeria, he shall be arrested and tried as the law prescribes. Oh, shit. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers.